What's up guys, it's your boy Souls here, and welcome back to Geometry to the Dizzle Dash, you already know. Now, as you can tell, you know, this is the last part that we started building on in the first episode of the unofficial official level series. You know, we was building a nice little cube part, nothing too crazy, nothing too special. Then I was like, you know what, let's do a little off-camera grinding, you know, let me just build a little bit off-cam... Bruh... Oh... Okay, so, you see, what ha ha happened was, um, <laughs> okay, couple of things. As you may have known, some of you might have known the fate of episode 2. I had built some stuff, it wasn't good, but I was going to be able to upload it anyway because I lost the footage. So I was like, you know what, let me just build off camera something that's simple, easy, I'm only going to build the ship part off camera, I'm going to build the cube on camera. Yeah, clearly that didn't happen. Uh, honestly, I was just in a groove. I was just building to be building, and I came up with this. Now, you can argue that I could add more to the ship part, more to the cube part, and I can do some other stuff with the wave, but we're not at that part yet. What we're doing today is quite simple. We are going from 45%, probably to maybe 60%, maybe even further. We're gonna get some progress on this level, like lots of progress. And I think I finally mastered the Rob Top style. So Rob Top style, what it basically is, is use the blocks as they're intended, right? So I kind of did that, but added a little bit of flash and a little bit of flair to it, just to get the level a little bit more of a personality. Because I noticed, like, when I was building the level, it looked a lot like blast processing and the reason it looked like blast processing is because that's the level I was getting a bunch of inspiration from so it wasn't really becoming its own level so I kind of just you know I took some inspiration from blast processing and uh, try to throw in my own style so I guess I can show you guys from the new part to what I haven't built yet so uh, yeah get ready for the showcase Too much progress it was like from what uh 17 to most like like around 44 ish so not too much progress but we're gonna be building kind of like this throughout the entire level so uh yeah let's go ahead and get started first things first use the blocks as they're intended as rob top prescribed them if you will uh, so I need the brick blocks. Where are the brick blocks? There you are. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, one thing I did notice about Rob Top Styles, and I'll show you an example, uh, if I can find it in Blast Processing. So one thing I did notice about Rob Top Style is that he doesn't use too many structures. And when he does, it's not to like a very high extent, you know what I mean? Like, you look at the level, and it's like not that many st structures, you know what I mean? At least not for each individual part. The shapes are really simple, easy to make, and put some, slap some ground spikes on it, then you got yourself a Rob Top level. Another thing Rob Top likes to do is utilize player colors. So I, I've i been trying to do that minusculely, minusculely? I hope that I'm saying that right. I'm trying to implement player colors whenever I can, just so the level feels, you know, pretty good pretty good you know it takes a while to get used to actually utilizing them I'm not gonna lie because every time I use them it just doesn't turn out really good sometimes all right so yeah here we go this is a Rob top structure I guess and then just put a small little thingy on this like not not that nice little Rob top structure you know what I mean this actually looks like rupture now that I look at it either rupture or that one level that Viperin and Heinz collabed on but yeah sorry for like ghosting for like a week I literally, I don't know what happened. The time went by so fast, I don't even know what happened, bro. Like, I was doing school stuff and work, and all of a sudden, a week passed by. And I'm like, bro, how? Time flew by. So I apologize. I will make it up to you guys 
by making more content. Rob Todd doesn't usually put 3D on slopes, hence why I didn't do it here. So I guess I can put the 3D on this maybe. Yeah, that 3D actually looks pretty good. And uh, another, it's not really an effect. It's more just like a stylistic idea. You, I'm kind of putting like the spikes on the middle of the track on the 3D. It emphasizes the 3D a little bit, you know? It's nothing crazy, but it looks kind of cool, you know? Now, I will say the level looks decent with player the player colors that I have. Uh, quality may vary with your player color. <laughs> Obviously, I'm gonna have to like shave off some stuff like that. That actually was a perfect cut. What the heck? Obviously, I'm gonna optimize this part once I get to it. And clearly, if you can't tell, I moved down the structures so it is nerfed. I did read the comments saying that there are some parts in the wave that were a little bit too difficult, they were a little bit too tight. And I agreed, I agreed, because this is supposed to be a little bit of a jump from blast processing to a different level. So I did want to nerf it a little bit while still keeping it harder than blast processing, just so there's a nice transition between that level and theory of everything too. Okay, let's try, let's go back to purple. Let's go back to purple. Purple is a good safe bet. Okay, I think this should be pretty decent, right? Um, Rob Top also doesn't do that many pulses, so I'm kind of not following what he does to a degree but i think that's fine yeah building in simple style it's 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 easy but it hurts my brain but you know i think so building like this you know it's a good experience it's a good experience to learn your weaknesses in building and you know you gotta fix them you gotta fix them up you know not every cake is gonna come out perfect sometimes you gotta burn the cake put it back in the oven and burn it a little bit more until you figure out why is the cake so burnt well, dummy, you put it back in the oven. So of course it's gonna get burnt. So stop putting the cake back in the oven after you see it scathe. Yeah, this looks like theory of everything, except modern. I also noticed that Rob Top uses the faded blocks a lot for the background. So I've been trying to like mimic that by putting the faded blocks in the background too. But then all the level looks like, I looked at the poll that I made like a couple of days ago. Well, not a couple of days ago, probably like yesterday, right? It looks like blast processing. Feels weird being able to complete a block design in under two seconds. Feels weird. Another thing that Rob Top does is that he uses these ground spike, well, ground decoration, right? But he uses them as light background. He doesn't change the color. And I'm like, bro, how do you live with yourself? What do I do here? I, this is where I always get lost. Like, I, I always don't know what to do. Like, I, I can do something like this, right? Putting like player color stuff down and then mixing in a couple of other things. Still, it's still, no, it feels like X-Step. That's what this part feels like. It feels like X-Step, but with, with 3D. I am going to break Rob Top conventional means and put my own means of decoration. That way I can feel a little bit better about releasing this level on my account. Would you believe me that when I say that I'm almost done with this part, I feel like I'm making blast processing again. Am I already using too many objects? How am I at 10,000 already? What? How many objects does blast processing have? Oh, come on. How many objects is theory of everything? 14,000? That's it? Are you kidding me? I don't get it. I, I, apparently this is all Rob Top does. He places the objects down and then he calls it done. He just, does he just slap this into this part right here? And he says, okay, that's my, that's my air decoration. I'm layering, I'm cheating, boo me. Yeah, you guys can boo me. You can boo me. Yes, I'm layering. Technically layering wasn't in 1.9. I understand that. I, I genuinely believe that he would leave the part like this and nobody would bat an eye. All right, let's just add the pulsing. Let's add pulsing. And usually when he pulses, he pulses the background and the object color and possibly color one. And we can make the object color like pulse blue here, like a light blue and then and then back to white. I feel like that's that's decent, right? You know what? I'm stealing what I did over here when it came to the color change. I'm stealing it. And according to Rob Top style, apparently I got to revert back to this. So I don't want to steal directly from blast processing because that would defeat the purpose. So, hey guys, look, it's can't let go, but if it had the wave. Um, I guess I'm going to steal the block design I used for the transition again, but at this part again. Hey, whoa, 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 hold on. Didn't I say that we were going to get to like the wave section for like the end of the video? Like, bro, we're actually making progress and it didn't take me an hour to record. Well, we got to kind of make it like look like the player's floating. So I'm going to put them like somewhat lower. 
and then put them like right here. We making mad progress. This series is about to be three episodes with the progress that I made. Is this gonna get rated? Probably not. I honestly would rather it not get rated. <laughs> You know, we're gonna make these color one just so the 3D actually has a purpose and so you can actually see the effect. Well, not the effect, but the 3D on these actual blocks because I do want to keep 3D consistent in this level. Well, what sauce should I put here? I guess the gears, right? You know what? We can just put more of those pulsing things. Like these pulse sticks, I'm calling them, they actually fill up space really well, so I'm just gonna keep utilizing these. Okay. That is not bad at all. And I think I have an idea for the block design now that I did this with the blocks for the transition. It's actually going to steal from blast processing a little bit, but it's also not at the same time. Since I have declared that we are in like a fiery factory, right? What I am going to do is I'm finally going to utilize the black color that I've been not using the entire level. And on the inside, like this, this, and this. Right? Okay, now that we got this as our outline, uh, we kind of need to see the portal lines for this. We can do this, and then we can get the ground spikes to go like that. But I'm going to cheat to a degree if it start looks, if, <laughs> if it start looks, if it starts looking really bad. I need this block. Yeah, I think this is the vision. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad, 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 not bad. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with how this is turning out. I, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna have to kind of nerf this. I just, I realized this. So I gotta nerf it even further. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad for a transition, okay. So if this is gonna be my block design, I gotta decorate this. So what decorations to put on top of this? I'm not gonna steal the chains cause then it's not gonna look original. So, uh, now that I look about, now that I'm looking at this, this looks like my old level Toxic Subway. Well, Toxic Sewers. Well, Toxic Underground. Um, I guess... Oh, since we're transitioning, we can... <gasps> oh, scrap the... Oh, hold on. Scrap the cloud. Yeah! It's really gonna be looking like the of Everything 2 now. Uh, yeah, this is definitely gonna, like, expand out a lot more than expected. Yeah! Now we're cooking. And then for a decoration on top of this, so it doesn't look too empty, I'm gonna put color two on this. Hey, you know what? I can work with this. I can work with this. How much percentage? We went, technically we stopped here, but we went from like 18 to like, yeah, we're at like 50, 60%. Do I call the episode here? I mean, I feel like I made a lot of progress. Before releasing the level, I'm gonna like clean things up, right? But just not right now. Boom Kitty was popping off when he was building this song. Do you build songs? No, you don't build songs, you make songs. Almost done with the actual block design now. Just gotta finish putting it down. There we go. Well, I forgot about the dig the big triangle on the top. Yeah, I feel like th like next episode of this series is gonna be like the last one because I'm already at 60%. I'm starting to question if this even looks like a main level anymore. I'm starting to think that this just looks like a your average run the mill 1.9 level now. Now as far as the background for this part, I'm actually not entirely sure what I should do. Yeah! Yeah! That's not done, but yeah! Alright, I think I'm gonna call the episode there. Technically this part isn't done, but it's very close to it. Um, we made some progress on camera using this ball part, this transition, and then into this wave. That's not bad. And technically I did this part off camera, which I do apologize guys. I really wish I recorded this part, me revamping it and everything. Um, next episode might be the last one if I keep going at the rate I am now. So I'll be going from like 62-ish percent all the way to the end. So thank you all so much for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to leave like, subscribe for more. It's been your boy Souls, and I will see you guys next time. Later.